Morning, morning, morning. Hello again. I think I've been in cryo sleep for about a about a fucking year. I think no. Um, yeah. Okay, so back again, back up, back at it. Get on with stuff. And I think the first one I've been given now is the falconer. Sorry, falconer, falconier, falconer, falconier, something like that. Okay, yeah. So the the sound is uh, is pretty pretty good. Actually, better than pretty good. It's fucking awesome. Okay, press any button to continue. Which one's the any button? Please do not turn off your console. Yeah, I wasn't planning on it. Uh, start. Okay, j just to let you know. Um, when I get given these things to do, I, I don't know anything about them. I, I'm blind. It's just a case of, like, play this. So, the most I will do sometimes, which I haven't done now, is sometimes I'll have a look at a, an active screenshot of a game so I know where to place, like, the webcam. Other than that, I know nothing about it. At all. Right, start. When we were young in this place, the falconeers were messengers and guardians. They carried memories and spirits to the beyond. Now those origins are lost and their lives and memories are lost to battle. But you can learn from them, their memories soaring through the clouds above the seas. Let us find out what stories remain in these splintered fragments the currents have brought us. Imperial Peak is the Imperial Seat, the highest attainable seat in the Empire. Towering over Imperial Harbor and the Earthsea, its inhabitants are blinded to the plight of those below. Only those who serve the Empress ever perch on its balconies or set foot on its marble floors. Ooh. Choose now what stories and memories await you. What can be gleaned from these lives? So what's that mean? Does each person have a, a different story? Am I expected to play this multiple times? Just uh, that's off put in to fucking begin with. All right, random. That'll do. As the son of a ascend now, Falconeer. Okay. Attention applicants, your Empress needs you. With these incidents, east of Dunkel and the Freebooter threat, we have fallen on desperate times. If successful, you'll be part of a new garrison at the Imperial Peak. Many of you will fail these tests. Only the very best can serve at this post. Today we start with simple performance assessments for each of you. The Empress has an appointment at her Thunderstrike flagship at the exact time, so no wandering off or deviating from the flight plan. There will be repercussions if you do. Good luck. Okay. Morning, Greenhorn. Let's see you fly that warbird. Start off with a slow dive. Chop chop. Diving accelerates your bird and generates energy for special maneuvers. 
Your bird is energized for dashes and rolls. Show me a strong dash. Do a barrel roll. Now let me see some evasive rolling. You can do this by dashing while turning. You have good control of your warband. Okay. Now let's see how observant you are. Imperial Harbor is just south of the Imperial Peak. Head there. Follow the line on your minimap, or use the golden target on oh, your compass for shit. guidance. Okay. Fly your warbird! Oop, down here, is it? Okay. Okay. You want a bayonet in the neck, Greenhorn? If you get that close to a ship, they'll be having skewered bird for dinner. Get your distance, make a run, and veer before you hit a ship or static target. Don't be a fool now. Fucking all right. I didn't know. So what the fuck is it? What are you supposed to do when you get there then? It's not doing anything. Ah, oh, that's better. At the next waypoint, we'll practice targeting and focusing. There is a barge up ahead. Find it and stay locked on. Lock target on X. Okay. Where the fuck is it gone now? Target the barge, okay. That'll do. The barge has a turret. Consider it a sub target. Lock onto that for accuracy. What? Yeah, I was pressing the right fucking button. Oh, fuck off. Your weapon will indicate when it is aligned with a locked on target. If the target lock indicators are blinking, it should feel like the weapon is aiming itself. Not bad. Now open fire. Destroy the turret and the ship. Keep your eyes on the target for each pass. I can't tell what I'm actually fucking doing. The fuck happened there? So what am I supposed to do? Press B. Oh, he's got a fucking spear. I thought I was waiting for guns. Oh, a fucking stupid game. What the fuck am I? <sighs> Nothing's happening.
Oh, fucking hell. I was pressing the wrong button. Nice work. Your weapon is a valuable relic. We'll need to recharge it from a nearby thunderstorm. What? Be careful. There are neutral traders, friendly patrols, and airships around at this time. Do not fire on them. Your compass will display friendlies as white and blue, while any hostiles will show up in red. Okay, so there's a hostile up ahead then. Oh, I've got to recharge my gun in a thunderstorm, am I? Oh, fuck off. Or... fuck was that even supposed to be? What the f what the fuck is happening? Travel the waypoint. Fly into the clouds to attract the lightning. At any sign of overheating, dive towards the ocean to cool down. Full ammo pots are glowing at the back of your bird. Perhaps you will make it to the guards after all. Not too shabby. Let's head back to the palace. Okay, yeah, this is fucking stupid. Oh, okay, I got a what? That looked quite cool, actually. Remember, track the targets, aim ahead of their trajectory, and roll your bird to avoid incoming fire. All right.
Yeah, let's just cut to that now, is it? Well done. Focus on where the tracers are landing, not your gun sight. Shooting while turning will radically change where your shots land. Remember, we weave and turn to get behind our target. Get behind your target and only then fire. Oh, I don't know what that was. Bloody hell! I'm trying to work out on the mini map what I'm supposed to be doing. Ah, okay. Oh, please let that be it. Death is meaningless for us all. Now we can be reborn from the depths. Memories retained as splinters of our fractured self. But we fear the other, that which remains tied to us. You must become the other. Relive the lives of those lost. In order to discover the truth, we must start at the beginning with an ambitious heart. A first heartbeat will grow into a thousand consequences. A good position amongst several currents makes Dunkel a favored stop for traders seeking to circumvent Imperial tariffs. A natural harbor. Dunkel has survived longer than many other settlements along the fringes of Imperial control, and boasts its own small mining concession along the moor. Yeah, I couldn't care less about your fucking pretentious toss. Video's going to end now. Shit off.